We're here today to create a koala corridor. We're using a new innovative drone seeding trial to build a corridor between two bushland areas so koalas don't have to walk across this empty paddock to get from one patch of bush to another. Traditional methods of ploughing a rip line and then planting take long periods of time to actually complete. So we're using the drone as a contrast to traditional methods to see if this new innovative way of dispersing seed can actually deliver the habitat that we seek in the long run as well. We've got over 40 species of natives that we're dispersing today, including blue gum, which believe it or not, the koalas love. It's like caviar to them. They love eating blue gum lip. So hopefully we'll get plenty of that growing after the project. It certainly looks like a lot of it here. There is indeed, there is indeed. Each drone can carry around 700 kilograms in a day, which I'm told is the weight of two polar bears. And these drones can fly and swarm so that we can actually plant up to a tonne and a half of seed every day. Ultimately, the extra trees that will germinate today will provide food, shelter and habitat for koalas in the area. We want to be a source of koalas that can move throughout the region and then repopulate areas that were not only impacted by the bushfires, but where they once used to be. We've heard a lot of times, if you were only here 20 years ago, there used to be koalas. The more habitat we have, the more koalas we can breed and the more koalas that can then move throughout the neighbourhood. I really hope that when I come back in two years time that the trees are going to be well above my head and that we may even be able to see signs of koala activity as koalas start moving back into this landscape.